Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. I believe you are well. I trust God that he is keeping you and strengthening you. This is a beautiful day the Lord has made for you and I. We have to rejoice and be glad in it. God is faithful. God is kind. God is powerful. God is merciful. And God is great. My dear friends, today we are still in the month of November talking about the love of God. And today I'm talking about humble and hungry. Humble and hungry. This is born from a reflection I had in my own time. To think about how at times we may underestimate how much we need Jesus. How many times we think we can solve one problem? How many times we think we can come out of our own situations? How often we think that we know what to do with our lives or we are in more control of, of our lives? And when that level of pride creeps in, it becomes difficult for the power of God to manifest. It becomes difficult for the power of God to manifest because the moment that I do that, then I lose hunger for his presence. I lose hunger for his power. I lose hunger for his miracles. When I say humble and hungry, is that through the love of God, it keeps me in a place of perpetual dependence. But I recognize that there is no plan that I have that can succeed absent of him. My reliance on him makes me to realize that he's the pot and, and I am the clay. And I take a position of humility in that relationship. Out of that now I become hungry because I know without him I cannot. And that hunger keeps me coming back. John 15, 12 says, Truly I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also. And greater works than this he will do because I go to the Father. He who believes in me. Believing in Jesus is believing that he came because you couldn't save yourself. He came because you couldn't help yourself. He came because you of your inability to be able to align your life according to the, to the will of God. That is what I'm talking about, humble and hungry. My dear friends, I'm praying that we may be able to be able to, to go back to a place of full dependence and reliance on Jesus. That it may provoke a hunger for being more with him. And out of that hunger that, the, that, that, that this greater work he's talking about can manifest. That is my belief, that's my conviction. And I believe that we can be able to receive more from the Lord today. Let us pray. I thank you, Father, for the gift of life, your spirit, your power, and your goodness. I pray, Father, for your sons and daughters this morning. But Lord, in the name of Jesus, may you give them your power and your grace. May the Lord see your miracles and may they be able to believe you for great and mighty things. Lord, I pray for the understanding that you are the one who opens doors. You are the one who keeps, the one who sustains. You are the one who protects, the one who lifts. It is you, Father, that keeps us walking, moving, talking, and breathing. Therefore, Father, give us the humility to recognize the role you play in our lives and the hunger to seek your face. I thank you, Father, and I bless you. In Jesus' name, bring thanksgiving. Amen. My dear friends, do stay blessed. I do believe I'll see you again next time, same time. Stay blessed.